It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brasserie Champignols and it's a bottle of their Continental Lager coming in at 5.5% ABV in a 500ml bottle. Looks good, I've chilled this right down. There's the bottle cap. I picked this beer up in Asda. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Here we go. So we have a little bit of a overspill, but we have a clear, it's a nice clear golden light amber coloured beer, almost straw coloured lager looking, but it is straw coloured lager looking if, if I'm honest. Um, good levels of equal carbonation moving its way through the glass and it looks like the beer is unfiltered. There's, there's little particles floating around in the beer which is quite interesting. It's produced in France. Um, I quite like a lot of the little, little French stumpy bottles. Uh, they, I find them quite refreshing, quite interesting. Um, somebody once told me that the amount of breweries per head, France leads the way. France has got like more breweries in it than, than, than most. Uh, it's surprising that we don't really see a lot of their beer in the UK. Let's, let's get the aroma on this beer then. It's got that typical French stubby bottle lager aroma to it as well. It's um, it's like mustiness going on. Kind of slightly kind of wafer-like, slightly biscuity and wafer-like and a little bit of lemon hop on the back end. <clears throat> Let's dive in. Cheers everyone. I think I paid no more than £1.50 for this in Asda a few weeks back. It's a little bit tinny, a little bit metallic. Um, it's, it's drinkable, it's refreshing, a little bit of kind of maize and malt character coming through. Maybe some rice, maybe it's been brewed with rice as well. It seems to have that kind of clinical taste from what a lot of people call a premium lager and a little bit of a peppery spicy hoppy back end it's just a it for me it's a beer that you buy I've seen that they had a, a four pack of this in Asda as well. I think it was about between £4.50 and £5 for four bottles. 500 mils, that means it's about just over a pound a bottle. I mean, it's, it's super cheap. It's super cheap. And the beer reflects that. The beer is, it's drinkable, it's wet, it's refreshing. Um, there's not too much to shout about. If you handed me a bottle of this in a in the south of France, I used to do a lot of camping in the south of France growing up um, on holidays with my parents, and I always used to. They, they were great at serving in into the south of France. I was always underage, but they would just serve you. It was no problem at all. You could buy wine, beer, spirits, whatever. We used to have cracking holidays. <laughs> Tell my parents going for a little walk in the evening find a kind of youthy like disco place where all the kids would hang out and and yeah I was away I was absolutely away <laughs> um, quick bottle of wine before or, or a few bottles of beer um, smash them down and then and then go dancing in the, in the disco yeah it'd be great fun uh, 
Um, mm, as, a, as a reviewer though, I've mentioned all of the good qualities of the beer, the fact that we just smash it back on a, on a hot day in the south of France. Going back to being a critic, a beer critic, there's not too much to talk about. It's, um, it's cheap, drinkable, affordable lager. It's not got complex malts coming through. I wouldn't even say it's 100% malt lager. Um, there's a little touch, as I mentioned, of spiciness, a hoppiness, a slight kind of grassiness coming through on the beer, but it, it's, it's tinny, it's metallic. It's it's affordable beer for the for the French masses. Rating. Champagnols. Contains malted barley malt gluten and yeah. That's all they put on the bottle. Gonna rate it. It's a six out of ten. Six out of ten from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!